entitled Muslim just told Californians he can kill all 10, 000 of them if he wants. Big mistake the arrogance of Islam has been on full display recently with Muslims taking liberties to express any hateful thing they please and expect to be protected by reason of religious right. What has been acceptable for the last 8 years stopped 6 months ago when our perfectly unapologetic American president, Donald Trump, took office and didn't allow excuses for people perpetrating horror on citizens. As resistance and desperation to reclaim control sets in. Death threats toward Americans' infidels seem to be on the rise. We saw this yesterday when an Islamic hate preacher in Northern California openly called for the annihilation of Jews in the US and abroad. Now, another Muslim in California, this time in Oakland, has learned the hard way what happens when you feel it's your place to shout your desire to kill 10,000 infidels in public. The people in this city outside San Francisco do not mess around. For the third time this week. We are hearing about what Muslims and liberal-run California are doing to try to take over certain parts of that state and rain hell on infidels. It started in the city of Fresno where a cramped apartment full of Muslim refugees had a disgusting slaughter party and sacrificed a goat. They took the sick act even further by passing the raw meat to neighbors, inevitably spreading disease with the foul gift. A couple of days later, a Muslim imam north of Fresno was caught on television praying for the death of Jews saying now is the time to annihilate them. Now, Amos Sinan al Haggaji in Oakland has gotten far more specific with his plans for a very certain group of Americans. Among the most despised people within the Muslim religion are homosexuals who have been targeted by the so-called religion of peace before, when a Muslim terrorist in Orlando, Florida opened fire on club goers, killing 49 people. Al Haggaji apparently didn't think 49 dead gays was enough to please Allah and wanted to take down 10,000 of them in a massive attack on behalf of ISIS that he went public with online. He announced his very detailed plans for attack on social media which proved to be a really stupid move with what happened as a result of that last Friday. However, thousands in San Francisco can thank him for sharing his disturbing ideas since they narrowly avoided a horrific act of terrorism he didn't get the chance to make since the right people found out about it before it was too late pj media reports a 22 year old man from oakland california man was indicted friday on charges related to material support for isis his case represents the 130th isis related arrest in the u.s since march 2014 According to the Justice Department, Amos Sinan al Haggaji opened up social media accounts on behalf of ISIS and was willing to commit a suicide bombing. Even more disturbing, according to the indictment, al Haggaji said he wanted to redefine terror and kill 10,000 people here in a domestic terror attack. The indictment also states that al Haggaji discussed selling poison drugs and attacking a gay club in San Francisco. The whole Bay Area is going to be up in flames, he reportedly said. He had also spent time in Yemen, and had planned to flee the country through Mexico following his attacks. al Haggaji was arrested in November 2016 and held on unrelated charges until last week's indictment. What's important to note in this case is that al Haggaji had been living in the Oakland community for years, completely under the radar. He attended high school there and was either radicalized the entire time or became so sometime after graduation. Those who know him were shocked to find out he's actually a terrorist and refuse to believe the reality of who he is. Despite al Haggaji's own words and the evidence against him that proves his intentions, his high school friend, Ray Martinez, told NBC Bay Area that it's interesting to see that someone would be criminalized for fitting a stereotype, NBC Bay Area reports. Martinez first met al Haggaji during a soccer class at Barclay High when the two were freshmen. He was one of the first people I met at Barclay High School, Martinez said. He added al Haggaji was playful, friendly and not the person described by a federal agent during a December court recording. Federal prosecutors in the December detention hearing recounted in detail conversations dating back to last July that al Haggaji had with FBI informants posing as ISIS sympathizers. I live close to San Francisco, that's like the gay capital of the world. Al Haggaji allegedly told an FBI informant during an online conversation, I'm going to handle them right, lol, I'm going to plant a bomb in a gay club, by god, I'm going to tear up the city, the whole bay area is going up in flames, my ideas are genius Muslims holy book, the Quran, preaches torture and destruction of gay people so in killing them, 
they are acting on behalf of their religion and their god, Allah. It's odd that so many liberal members of the LGBT community support and defend Muslims when the feeling is certainly not mutual. On the other hand, President Trump has shown his support for these valued people in our community who may be different than him, but we as Americans accept them just the same. So who is really the bigot in this case? It's not Trump's religion that preaches against this protected group of people.